Okay. Okay. It's going to take a while. Bumper. Some money for that somewhere. I'm sure there'll be a sponsor for the News Extra at least. If not, the News Extra MLA. All right. Girls Regional Finals. Yeah. All right. You idiot! Watch sports or die! Line two. I'm going to do an ID here so people are done playing. <laughs> hmm. That'll look good in the blooper tape. <laughs> Details are complete for NMU. I guess I'd have to say one of the largest news making of oh, Steve, ruin it all. Okay, so hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you say when you go out in the field and uh, you hear <laughs> the cables? So hit it, Ralph. <laughs> no, I was going to say something about the death of Mother Teresa and Princess Diana within three days of each other. But I don't want to be laughing while I uh, say that. I think the biggest story of the year, or at least the one that captivated the most attention, was the uh, death of... Hey. He was... All right, I can't say it with laughing. I like that smile. Well, certainly one of the biggest stories of the year, if not the most surprising, was the death of Mother Teresa and Princess Diana within a few days of each other. And I think everything came to a stop for pretty much one week. <laughs> stop it. I'm Deanna Himmela. At TV6, we're excited about our switch to NBC. That's why they sent me here to Los Angeles. NB shit. I'm Deanna Hemela at NBC. We're excited about our switch to TV6. I'm sure they could care less. Well, some of the snowmobile trails out there are getting a light dusting of snow tonight. In the Marquette area, the snow started late this afternoon, but only amounted to about an inch. There, were, uh, more, there was more snow in other parts of the UP. Roads also have a thin cover of snow tonight. It's all part of our slow start to spring. Yesterday, we had the coldest April daylight in the last 45 years. And I'm going to stall out here as long as I can until Carl's uh, gathering the latest weather information right. and uh, made it just in the nick of time. Actually, I have this new, this new high-tech plunger. You it's know, that switched you maps. It's so darn heavy. It's so heavy, it <laughs> fell down and it switched the maps, so I had to run back into the control room. So I'm really out of breath. Well, you'll, we have a commercial break coming off. up to Great. regroup. <laughs> let's do that, shall we? <laughs> Come on. Let's get the high and low today. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Two, one. Sandra passes her love of horses on to everyone around her, especially to the beginners who are just oh 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 ow. <laughs> Whoa. And meteorologist Carbonac working here, I'm sure, tracking that hurricane out there that hopefully won't hit the United States. It doesn't look like it will. Definitely not affecting we'll, us. We'll show you that in just a bit. But first of all, let's take a look at uh, what happened today. High temperature. Well, for the second day in a row, 52 the high. Well, it's time now for a check on our weather. Meteorologist Carl Bonac is... Uh, I'm here. He's here. <laughs> he's uh, gathering that last-minute information on the light snow that's been falling just outside the TV station. Right, uh, our Iron Mountain weather cam shows it. You can see snow on the road. It started snowing a couple of hours ago. For a while, there was one half mile visibility. Having with all that fog, make sure you have your lights on. That's true. Okay, Steve? Well, back in July, Michigan State went <laughs> low to fly. <laughs> I thought that was me. It looks like me. And we've got that westerly wind expected for Labor Day after the front comes through. And tonight, what we're expecting are lows from around 60 through the 60s, very light winds. And again, there's the danger that some low clouds will form along with some fog. And take to safeguard yourself this winter from yeah. nature's worst. Yeah. Karen Van Elsen, TV6 News, Marquette.
And Carl Bonac joins us, and what more can we say about the weather? It's I don't know. like spring out there. Looks like Karen was having a tough time. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it, it looks like we're going to have mild weather into the weekend, but there is a system coming in out of the west that could cause some, <laughs> some snow. <laughs> Let's go to the video. Why don't we? <laughs> in fact, the ice is getting a little bit thin in some spots because of all the mild weather. Here's a scene from the Copper Country, the forecast, next. One of the highlights. I do have intense gas developing, so I would suggest that you hurry up with this. 